A misconception that many people have is that a good upbringing and keeping a child busy with activities will help prevent her from going the wrong way. However, this is not usually the case. Joanna Dennehy had a normal childhood until she decided to leave her family at the age of 16. After that, it was crime after crime until it ended in murder. Before the murders, Joanna had been born to normal middle-class parents. Her parents were a security guard and shop manager. No one could imagine the killer she would become because she got good grades and did extracurricular activities. However, during her teenage years, this all changed. She started drinking, doing drugs, and dating a man five years older than her. Eventually, Joanna Dennehy would move out of her home and go live with the man, and they would have two children. However, she would also end up leaving her kids with their dad and never returning. The murders of Joanna Dennehy were called the Peterborough Ditch Murders because that is where she dumped the bodies of her three victims. The first victim found was Kevin Lee. He was seeing Dennehy and was her landlord. On March 29, 2013, his body was discovered with multiple stab wounds. He was also dressed in a black sequin dress. The second victim was Lukas Slaboszewski. Hopefully I said this correctly, and if I didn't, I apologize. And the third victim was John Chapman. Their bodies were found on April 3, 2013. It would be found that Lucas was killed on March 19th and John was killed 10 days later on March 29th. Both had been stabbed to death. It was later found out that they were both Dennehy's roommates. Before being caught two days later, Joanna Dennehy repeatedly stabbed two other men, but they survived. It has been said that she wanted to kill nine men to have the same kill count as Bonnie and Clyde. During the trial, Joanna laughed at killing the three men. She showed no remorse whatsoever. She was sentenced to life in prison. She is the third woman in the UK to be sentenced to life. She threatened to kill another female killer, Rose West, who was the second female in the UK to be sentenced to life. That resulted in West being moved to another prison. It is also said that she continues to talk to men via letters in jail. Earlier this year, she was ready to get married to Robert Haley Palmer. His family begged the prison governor to not allow the marriage because they feared he would commit suicide based on Dennehy's urging. I couldn't find if she actually got married to him because it is said that the prison can't talk about their prisoners' lives, private lives. So I'm not sure if she was able to get married to him or not. Joanna was diagnosed with paraphilia sadomasochism. This is getting sexual excitement from pain. This is the second female killer featured who got sexually aroused by hurting others. The first was Jane Topin. Joanna Dennehy seems to not have any care for other people. She left her family and kids, and then she started murdering. Her 19-year-old daughter said in an interview that her mother told a psychiatrist that she killed for fun, and that she hopes that her mom remains in jail for the rest of her life. I also have the same hope, because it seems like Joanna is very dangerous. I honestly don't think that she can be reformed. If you haven't subscribed, please do so now and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I release a new video. Also, sign up for the newsletter so you'll be notified via email every time I do release a new video as well as a new podcast episode. Next week, we'll hit the 50th episode, so you don't want to miss out on that one. I'll talk to you next week.